The name says it all. Georgia High School Football Royalty. Welcome, Coach Ray Lamb. Just a poor old high school football coach. Come from a small town of Louisville, Georgia, and always want to coach small town high school football. And I want to thank the the hall for coming up with the what do you call it the uh, senior division. <laughs> that means you're old. And I got in under the senior division. But I also got in because of a lot of great people in my lifetime. I got in because these folks right over here. These folks from Warren County. Two state championships. And if they had a little better coaching, they'd have won three back to back. Got lost one of them six to nothing. And uh and then uh, the other thing, when you coach at a small school, I took a job. I was a football coach, athletic director, tennis coach, the track coach, uh, girls basketball coach, eighth grade boys coach. And uh, then they decided we needed to play baseball. So, so here we go with that. And, and, but you know what? Our girls' basketball team, and I think they bought a table out here tonight. You girls' basketball team players, y'all stand up. I don't I can't find y'all. I can't see. Suzanne, I mean, not Suzanne, Mary, where y'all? Hey, these, these girls, hey, they made me enjoy girls' basketball. I'm not kidding. We could win. They knew how to win. They knew how to fight. And these kids, both jobs I've had that I really enjoyed the most were, were people that had a work ethic. This was a farming community. Commerce was a mill community. And uh, first football game I coached, we got beat 42 to 7 by a great Thompson football team. Well, what happened? All my players were working. They didn't come to school until Labor Day. So, so we went eight and, eight and two, got beat by Lincoln County 16 to 13 for, for the region championship. And uh, so I, I'm, 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 I'm married to the, to the work ethic. And I want all you football players from Warren County, please stand up, please. All of you. Well, y'all are, I can't see. They made my first six years in, in football really, really enjoyable. Then I moved to Commerce, Georgia, a mill town. We were a little bit down. We had some couple of great senior classes. And all of a sudden, we got a bad, we got a, we struggling. But I got some great kid guys out here last, in, in, in this audience, who were on that football team those first three years. We struggled. We struggled. But they never gave up. They had a lot of heart. And we went a region with uh, Norcross, Stone Mountain, Rockdale County, where we didn't have any business. But anyway, we, we fought like crazy. We went up five and five. And then the, then the, the things changed. And then from, from 1970 to 1980, we were the second winningest team in the state of Georgia, second to y'all's Warner Robins. And uh, that's pretty good for a good little country bunch. And, uh, but I want to thank my family, and I'm going to try not to miss any of them. They all couldn't be here. Uh, my son, Bobby, Bobby and his wife, Allison, please stand. He coached at Mercer and Furman, had a great career at Furman. And first, let me, uh, one other 
I want to thank Coach Dooley and Ray Goff for allowing me to work at the University of Georgia. And I didn't mean to stay 19 years, but that's how long I was there as director of high school relations. Thank y'all. It was a lot of fun. Uh, then I have Hal Lamb and Kim. And Hal's a... Uh, He's a, he'll be up here one day. He's already got his three state championships. Then I got uh, Lynn and Michael Davis. Uh, that's my daughter. She's a pretty good athlete herself. And her husband, Michael, was Hal's offensive coordinator. <clears throat> now he's gone to Raven County to coach that Stockton kid up there. Uh, Michael? If you mess him up, God bless you, son. And he better go to Georgia. All right. <laughs> uh, so then, the, then I go to my grandchildren. Trey Lamb is not here. His wife had another baby girl yesterday, so there wasn't no way he was going to be here. He's, a, he's the head coach at, at Gardner Webb. He's the second, second youngest head coach in college football. Uh, and... Bobby's son, Taylor, coaches quarterbacks for him. Bobby's son played at uh, App State. Then we got uh, Ben, and he's married to Mary Chapman. Trey's married to Cardinal. Uh, and uh, Ben was a pretty good football player himself. He, he, he gave up football in West Georgia. And I told him, I said, son, you're too skinny anyway. But you had a great career. You caught said the pass that you played on the state championship team. Don't come tell me that. You just, you just weren't quite big enough, and you weren't quite fast enough. You, you go ahead. Don't tell it. Don't worry about your papa. Worry about you giving it up, okay? Then I had uh, Sally. She just had a baby girl, and for another great, for another great grandbaby. And she's married to John Tipton. And, and of course, Taylor and Haley, uh, I won't say what they're doing, but uh, ta ta Taylor is, is quarterback coach for Trey. And then the, uh, Callie Davis here, she, Callie loves teaching school. She was a good basketball player and tennis player in high school. And then Linda Ray Davis, She's not here. Lindy Ray has got a scholarship at the University of Georgia to play softball. Uh, and she and her mother uh, uh, are at the prom tonight. You know, you, know, you women know how, how important the prom is, don't you? I hope I got them all. Trey's wife, Carla. But anyway, anyway, uh, I got one more. My godson, Clay, Clay Hodges. Where are you at, Clay? Stand up. And, and hey, and that's a great story, too. Wait a minute. Hey, I'm not leaving out. I'm not leaving out the chief. I can promise you that. Uh, well, let me tell you something, but you folks, if you want to get into coaching, first thing you better find, you better find you a good woman, okay? And uh, I was fortunate enough in 1958 to take my first job, and I, her two brothers were playing for us on a B team. I went to the B team game. Well, here comes this good-looking gal in a pair of right, red tight shorts and a white blouse. Whew. I'm talking. I'm talking about a ten plus. So I I called her the, about the next Monday night. You know she gonna play hard again. I, I said I said hello. I said this is Ray. She said Ray who? I said come on, woman. You know you know who you're talking to. But anyway, like like I say. I was poor as dirt. My dad had died when I was six months old. My mama raised me in five more on welfare. 
five boys and one girl, matter of fact. Anyway, uh, I had a 41 Chevrolet I'd bought to do my student teaching in. That's 1958. So we go, I pick her up, go out, go out to eat and go to the movie downtown in Augusta. Well, come out to the movie, that, that car won't crank. Here we go, we gotta push her out of that, under, under the house, under the road, you know. Well, we get out there, and I'm, I'm, I'm up there at the steering wheel on the floorboard, and she's back there in the back pushing all she can push. 59 years later, we still married. I, wa I want to thank the Hall of Fame and listen. Don't forget high school coaches. It's the purest brand of football I know. And I tell you one thing, I know I've had a strong influence on a lot of people. And I know I love every one of them. God bless y'all. Thank you.